Seven easy steps to make your phone private. No tech skills needed. Hey everyone, ever feel like your phone is watching you a little too closely? From apps tracking your location to ads that know what you're thinking, yeah, it's creepy. Today, I'm going to show you how to take back control of your phone's privacy in just seven simple steps. No tech jargon. No complicated tools. Just real stuff you can do right now. Step 1. Check app permissions. Let's start with the basics. Go to Settings, Privacy, Permission Manager. You'll see which apps are using your camera, mic, location and more. Ask yourself, does this app really need this? If not, revoke it. Trust me, your flashlight app doesn't need your location. Step 2. Stop background spying. Some apps keep running in the background, collecting data even when you're not using them. Go to Settings, Apps, Mobile Data and Battery. Turn off background data and battery exemptions. This saves your privacy and your battery. Step 3. Add privacy tools. Now let's armor up. Install Proton VPN for secure browsing. Use Blokda to block ads and trackers. Switch to Signal for private messaging. Try NetGuard to control which apps can access the internet. All of these are free and easy to use. Step 4. Use FDroid for safer apps. Google Play is full of apps that track you. FDroid is an open-source app store with privacy-respecting alternatives. You'll find apps like Simple Gallery, K9Mail, and Ages Authenticator No Hidden Tracking. Step 5. Make sure your phone is encrypted. Most phones are encrypted by default. But let's double-check. Go to Settings, Security, Encryption. If it's not on, turn it on. This protects your data if your phone is lost or stolen. Step 6. Reset your ad ID. Your phone has a unique ad ID that helps companies track you. Go to Settings, Google Ads. Tap Reset Advertising ID and turn on Opt Out of Ads Personalization. Boom Clean Slate. Step 7. Monthly Privacy Checkup. Set a reminder once a month to Review new apps. Recheck permissions. Clear your browser history. Update your privacy tools. It's like brushing your teeth, but for your digital life. That's it's 7 steps to make your phone way more private. If this helped you, give it a like. Share it with someone who needs it. And hit subscribe for more digital self-defense tips. Got a favorite privacy app I missed? Drop it in the comments, I'd love to check it out.